Picture this because to see him work it is just gotta be. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? I'm sorry. Then uh, you can go over it. There you go. So 45 minutes. It, it will be like tacky, tacky dry. I think that's probably what we'll be doing. Cause it's a clear. You need to let the water evaporate out before you put the UV light on it. Okay. But since you're clear and you don't have a color coat, you can oftentimes do a couple of coats and then just cure it one time. You forgot to write. The rock pads take pretty good coats, they? they do, yeah, yeah. You got the 360. Yep, yeah, that's the, your prep. No prep for the VCT tiles? Yeah, you got to send it down to the uh, down to the tile. But new tile, would you just wipe them down with the sun? Unless they're pre, pre-treated or pre-waxed. Yeah, normally yeah. they're pre-treated. So would you run a buffing machine with like a scrubbing pad on it? To, not, but not sandpaper. No, no, not sandpaper. Black pad. Just a black pad. Mm -hmm. Just to remove the, uh, the, the wax so that you can have a good adhesion on it. Did that at a um, grocery store somewhere up, up north from you, right? Sobeys. Sobeys and Halifax. And they, they put uh, sand down, not salt, if I remember right. Yeah. And that's why they had all the problems coming in the store. Uh, they kept tracking the mm -hmm. sand in. Mm -hmm. they put it just wore it off. Yeah, any wax or anything, it would have just. Yeah. We'll do the squeegee. We'll do the squeegee. Yeah, if you have a big area. Just use a squeegee now. Squeegee and back roll? Yep. Okay. We'll keep that extra too. Wet the roll because I calculated the uh, the amount for. Did your roller go suck some out of that? Yeah, the roll usually sucks out about three to three to three and a half ounces of material. Because it's clear. Okay, so in doing a big floor, 
Are you walking in spike shoes? Is it dry enough to walk on? I mean, depends on how long you have. Usually, when you wait 45 minutes, you can walk on it. You can, you can walk with soft shoes over it, apply the, the material. Have like the, the tack pads before you walk on it? Yeah. No spike because it's going to ruin the, uh, the wood. Well, I, I thought we were you want to cure the waterborne before you no. put this on. No, that's what I'm saying. You can do so this cures all because it's clear. You have nothing stopping it from I hitting see. them. So okay. it's just one. And you can get away again with that because you're using full spectrum. There's enough energy to do that. Like Chuck said earlier, you, you, know, if you got UVA or if you've got color, then it's a little trickier. You know. But if I'm going to do this section of the shop right here, when I put the primer down, it's, you got to stay away from it until it gets tack free for you to walk on. Now I got. Well, I could try. <laughs> you burn it up the wood. Yeah, you are. Too much talking. And that's the safety feature, so. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell the wood burning now. Alright, now it's just going to fire. Yeah, in the data sheet it says 20 feet per minute. But like uh, Chuck says, usually 15 or 10 feet. Yeah. Careful of this uh, side light. That's where sometimes you get some welding flash. As you can see, it's dry. <laughs> That's the pretty cool thing about it in a demo, is it's literally wet in front, you know. How about you see if you can get that one off right there? 